Joining us tonight, Congressman Devin Nunes, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. And uh, Congressman Nunes was, I believe, the first uh, to stand up against this corrupt, rotten uh, effort uh, against the president and do what he could uh, with a uh, with, frankly, a corrupt leadership of much of the intelligence community itself. Congressman, it's great to have you with us. Uh, I want to start with these documents, if I may, that are being released. To me, they present unequivocal evidence of criminality, of a, uh, of a, a, a rogue FBI working against the Constitution, as well as trying to overthrow a president. Uh, your, your thoughts? Well, if you remember, Lou, when I was on last week, uh, I talked about investigations that needed to be done. Uh, now you're seeing the right. fruit of that investigation. I talked about the U.S. attorney out of, out of Missouri that was looking at the Mueller dossier, the Mueller report. We now find out it's not, and the, the media is going to try to downplay this. The Mueller team was corrupt, Lou, plain and simple. Uh, there's so much there. Uh, this is probably only the start of it. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot more. Uh, we even know now uh, from the, an important document that was released uh, that they essentially were closing the investigation on General Flynn on January 4th, 2017. They wait three weeks right. while they plot and pray on General Flynn to set him up, to set it's, him up. They... To see the language when they're talking about Bill Priestap, uh, this language, uh, talking about what's our goal. I, I mean, it's hard to imagine that the head of counterintelligence at the FBI, what is our goal? If we can put up this full screen, please. What is our goal? Truth, admission, or to get him to lie so that we can prosecute him or get him fired? Extraordinary. I. Yeah, it's and, just and look, hard to the, imagine. The, remember the fact that they there's so much here. OK, there's so much here. Let's let's try to unpack oh. a couple of things. Oh. They had already opened an, a counterintelligence investigation into General Flynn in 2016 during the campaign. Then on January 4th, it was into FARA violations. Now, look, when you're doing FARA violations, uh, Lou, all the swamp creatures in Washington, D.C., these laws have been around forever. Uh, you get a slap on the wrist and you pay a fine and you just go register. You don't get a full blow and counterintelligence op uh, operation on you. They don't start spying on you. They don't start going through all of your records. They don't start, especially to that former head of the of, of DIA, a three star general, a war hero. I mean, you know, just think about that for a second. You're the genius FBI G man up there and you're like, oh, we're investigating the head of DIA. I mean, the former head of DIA. My God, can you believe that? If we, I mean, can you imagine the, the, the conspiracy that would be, uh, that, that our DIA director would well, be corrupted? It's incredible, because it was and, false. It was fake. And totally and then, fake. And in an effort to overthrow the president, uh, we're going to be back with uh, Congressman Devin Nunes. Congressman, if you could stay with us through the commercial break, uh, as you uh, as you put it, let's unpack a couple of other things uh, that are sure to just leave every every concerned American uh, irate uh, when they hear what else uh, is going on uh, in our government, at least in a great part of it. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Devin Nunes. We're back with Congressman Devin Nunes now. And Congress, I, I just want to touch on something that it, it just strikes me that you're talking about the special counsel, the Robert Mueller's legal team that uh, just hounded this president uh, in that horrible effort to really overthrow a president and nothing more. Uh, we're talking about the Justice Department. We're talking about the FBI, politically corrupt as they can be. We're talking about the intelligence community, three heads of three agencies, obviously politically corrupt as they can be. Uh, and Adam Schiff, uh, the chair of the House Intelligence Committee, and Nancy Pelosi. It is not an accident that all of these people were moving in concert simultaneously toward one end that was obvious, and that is 
to unseat the president of the United States. Yeah. I am, am I making well, too much of what are just mere well, historical uh, coincidences? No, no, uh, no, you, no you just forgot. Uh, a really important actor. You named a lot of the bad actors in this in this horrible tragedy, uh, but you forgot the biggest one, the enablers, and that is the mainstream media, who effectively might as well just move their offices into the Democratic National Committee. They were in on this from the start. If you look at how they're reacting over the last 24 hours, uh, you know they're just in denial. Now these are the people that ought to be looked at for treason, okay? Because a lot of these people knew about the Clinton paid for dossier. They were briefed on this and then they were given uh, these transcripts, okay, intelligence transcripts. They were given uh, this information. Th that's illegal. Those leaks are illegal, all right? Uh, you know, never should that have happened. And so the fact that you still have these lunatics out there, and there's probably a hundred of them, Lou, uh, that were kind of the official Russia hoaxers, they are out there still today accusing General Flynn of being some type of Russian agent. Okay, these, this is the media. This is the media. That's why it's so important for the American people to understand that the media work for the Democrats. And it's important for Republicans to understand, especially Republican elected officials, including the President of the United States, Lou, needs to quit calling on these people. Mm -hmm. Stop talking to them. Uh, you know, how many of us as Republicans would walk into the Democratic National Committee and say, hey, I'm here for a uh, foreign interview. Let's go. I mean, just like how many Democrats would walk into the Republican National Committee and say, hey, you know, let's go. Let me put me before a murder board. Ask me all your questions. This is lunacy that Republicans are even well, talking to these people. So so anyway, Lou, sorry to go off on that tangent, but it's important. They played uh, they know. were the enabler of all of this. They, they gave the platform for this whole coup to be started, for the investigation to be started that then turned into a coup and trying to take out the president of the United States. Yeah, I, if I may, I'm, I would like to add one other uh, element of this uh, for uh, consideration as well, and that is the corporate owners of these uh, outlets. Uh, this is beyond fake news. It's also uh, fake ownership because this is not happening without the at least tacit approval of the corporations for whom they work. Uh, and as they conspire against the president, that is clearly obvious to very uh, s smart people who run uh, the Washington Post and who own it, Jeff Bezos. It is also apparent to not only uh, the uh, the board of AT&T, oh, and but uh, its CEO. And, and it goes on and on. Disney uh, yeah, they, they and ABC know, News. They know, this de they know this defamation is occurring. There's defamation, there's slander. They know they're political. Uh, you know, they're effectively, you know, they're just part of a political party. OK, I mean, it's really it's oddly very familiar to the so the old Soviet Union and Pravda. It's familiar to how Putin, what Putin does in Russia today. Uh, it's also very familiar about how the Chinese Communist Party controls their media in their country. It's the same damn thing. You have 90 percent of the media in this country that's owned by the Democratic Party. OK, solely owned subsidiary. And, you know, I was talking to somebody today about the, the Russia hoax and Spygate and reporting on that. You know, that's not a conservative or a liberal thing. If you take the 10 reporters, there's really only 10 reporters out there that right. have been talking about this, about this Russia hoax, OK, doing a, a real job. You, you realize none of that is a con that's not conservative reporting. That's the only reporters we have in this entire country. They're actually true investigative reporters trying to get to the bottom of this mess. Congressman, uh, thanks for saying that, and thanks for being here. We appreciate it so much and all that you My have pleasure. done. Uh, standing standing uh, as, a, as an exemplar uh, for the Republican Party and reminding many of their, their members uh, what courage looks like. Thank you, Congressman. We appreciate it. Thank you very China's much.